Hello everyone, welcome back to some more tyranny. Let us unpause and continue our journey into the old walls. Teleporter down there. We have this. I suppose we should activate it. Uh I think that means we need a different key for that. On it. I think. Yeah? Yeah, pretty sure. Where does this go? Oh. All right, so in this type of room, if we don't activate this with the right key, it spawns enemies from these little portals. Since we're here, I guess we might as well try the one we have. Oh, we just got a new one. Okay, so it's probably the Jadis. Would be my guess. Another battle! <laughs> okay, I think we did that correctly, but they still spawned anyway. Well, I, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. That's how it's done! Buff up verse, that is the most important thing. Oh, it takes so long to the castle. Uh, Withering Cloud, is that gonna affect you too? I think so. I'll try that. Yes, I did cause that mess. We did make it weaken it, that's really good. Me first. Let's jolt. See that? I'm not entirely useless. Very nice, now let's pull back. On it. I don't know if this thing can't even be poisoned. I doubt it. That's how it's fucking done. That is, that is how it's done, verse. Indeed. So we got a way out there. I suppose we can keep searching. Just have to remember that we can go back there and probably use that key on something else. So what's up? What is the story with all these people hanging around with spirits? Also, what the heck is this? This must be a mural of the bastard's wound. Well, I guess this is technically the bastard's wound with the break in the mountains. And then this is the old wall section. And then everyone's kind of coming in. Spotted something. Okay, verse. Oh, this is someone that we can talk to and not murder. Yes. Yes. Hi. <laughs> oh, never mind. We can't talk to them. But we can push them off. Hey, you know, I can't always control the actions of my companions, especially Verse. She's a wild one. You never know what she's going to do. She just, boop. Verse. Shake, shake my finger at her. Come on, you know better than that. I didn't order you to kill that person. I'm kind of sad that there was no sound effect, though. Like, no Will. What's the? Is it Wilhelm's scream? What's like that generic scream that you hear in all the movies? What's that called? Wilhelm scream? The Wilhelm? I think it's something like that. Come <laughs> at me! It was just this very silent death. They just fell to the death without saying anything. That's kind of... Kind of creepy. That's a creepy way to die. Anyway, back to murdering... These things. Uh, that's gonna be too hard. Engrave me. All right, let's do false bit here. There we go. That's better. Then we'll start doing the buffs. Fall before me. Very nice. Very nice. Will do. Enrage first. Don't even until you're dead. 
pretty sure that is a friendly thunder bolt. Buff up, buff up. I'll tear your skeleton out by your ass. I'm ready. I don't know if that's possible first, but can anyone do it? You can. This can't be happening. Oh, it's not right. Not right. Go up, 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 go go It seems trespassers have taken to desecrating the old walls. Their sacrilege knows no bounds. Indeed, that's why we pushed that innocent person off the. I mean, that's why Verse did it. Totally Verse, not me. Couldn't stop her. My hands were tied. Ancient mural is painted onto the wall. Examine. The pristine, meticulously ordered sketch of the old walls' masonry is dramatically interrupted by an intricate mural painted across the brick wall with primitive pigments. A crude maze of orderly tunnels and simple right angles is depicted, and small, indistinctly drawn humanoid figures populate its varied and win winding corridors. In the gloom, it's difficult to make out the precise details at the top of the mural, which stretches above even a beast woman's height. Perhaps you're too sober to see it, but one could see this as a cross-section of the old walls. More artistic image than map, but it seems probable. There's a plethora of detail packed into the art of these walls. A more thorough examination will likely produce additional information. Alright, let's start from the top. Alright, the upper reaches of the painting aren't well illuminated by the otherworldly lights in the chamber. You'll have to find a way to gain some elevation. Ah, we're pretty athletic. Heck yeah. The brickwork of the old walls is impressively meticulous, leaving little in the way of gaps between each smooth-surfaced block. With some difficulty, you find the outliers in the precise masonry and find your handholds. It takes you a few minutes to slowly work your way up for a better look. Now at the top, you can clearly see a large break at the top of the depicted maze. A plethora of the humanoid figures swarm the top, with a few trickling down into the maze below. These humanoid shapes come in a variety of sizes and colors, some noticeably larger than others. The details on these figures are difficult to decipher, though you're able to spot some sharp talons and a few that appear to have a tail, horns, or some extra appendage. That's interesting. I assumed the big ones were the beast people. But the beast people do not have horns, nor tails. Talons? Yeah, more like claws, but you know, I can see them being also talons, but... Huh, interesting, okay. As you begin your slow descent into the chamber's floor, you explain the details to your followers. So people enter this maze from the top. Perhaps the spire is how people came into the old walls? I mean, your spire is capable of teleporting. What's to stop it from porting someone downwards? Good point. The corridors and passageways depicted in the mid-section are filled with humanoid figures. While chipped paint and weathering causes some superficial differences, the figures appeal otherwise uniform in size, shape, and color. These figures, high atop the mural, appear in different styles and colors, but you need to move in for a closer look to glean the subtleties. One doesn't paint an ode to imprisonment on the first day in a cage, right? How many generations were down here trapped in this maze? So it seems like many diverse people and things came down here, but then over generations they all became... One. I guess. I don't know, that's, that's, I think that's a pretty obvious message here. Uh, along the lower edge of the mural, on what would amount to the floor or bottom of the maze, you spot traces of faded paint not visible from a distance. Tiny, bone-white hashes of skulls and skeletons are intermixed with the masonry of the bottom edge. Tiny, bone-white hashes of skulls and skeletons. A chilling detail, is this to imply the dead were buried down below? Or down below was built with the bones of the dead? I doubt it's that literal. 
The mural is complicated and layered, but has likely received as comprehensive an examination that is possible for the moment. This mural suggests an old walls that was once full of life, but clearly the present contradicts this. What do you think this is saying? No. I love that they still stay with the whole you can glare silently as a reaction to almost anything in the game. Hmm. I just think that's funny. What do I think? So many different races came in, but only one of the races survived. Hmm. That's not my theory, but possible, I guess. I mean, they wrote it here, so obviously that's possible. Slowly delving deeper and deeper and under some sort of doom. I don't think so. It is devoid of the Bane. The Bane are the spirits we've been fighting. And those that inhabit the old walls. Perhaps it's hinting at what triggered their arrival. I mean, I would think that these people became the Bane, right? We'll go with the first one. The slight differences on the various humanoids would support your uh, supposition. Supposition? Supposition? I don't know that word. I don't say that word out loud. Uh, but then, why don't we know of these other people? Were they more like us or more like the Beastmen? Maybe Kairos and other long-lived folk are from one of these races? Satisfied with your investigation, you step away from the mural and leave its nuance for the next traveler to ponder. It's been a long time since I played the base game, but was there ever a mention of other peoples living in this land? These lands? I can't remember. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. And if there were, then... If Kairos is one of them, do they also hunt the rest of them down? Found something. I have questions. Let us start this one off with a thunderstorm. Another battle! Nope, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I was hoping to start it off before they actually did anything, but no. Let's cast it right there. Taunting Jest. I think we're excited to make it. Got him in a choke one of these, I guess. I don't know if that's good for us or not. Considering they have javelin throwers. that the wrong way seeing an awful lot of red they'd be feeling that one will do all right we're trying to win keep your filthy hands off me no 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 this can't be happening got to burn Harsh words cause more harm than a useless weapon. Alright, we got you. Call the <laughs> You didn't see nothing. Sorry, I can't. Hmm. Uh, this disheveled looking woman sways unsteadily upon her feet. Her clothes are tattered, her limbs lined with a plethora of bruises and cuts. Through half, -eye half closed eyes, she watches the unnatural glow of the magic light and smiles. She furrows her brow, struggling for a few moments to find a reply. 
We're in love, can't you tell? Okay, how did you get there? She slowly peels her eyes from the light and mutters an inaudible answer. Noting your confused expression, she points impatiently towards the teleporter behind her. Do you have the keystone? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. With a nary and backwards glance, she unhooks the satchel and tosses it to the floor. As you pick through it to retrieve the keystone, the dazed woman continues to stare at the light with a look of stupefying contentment. Probably would be a mercy. It sounds like she's enthralled. But would I kill her? Would I be looking to give mercy? Eh. Probably not. Um, so it feels like we're getting a little deeper and deeper. But, like, there's still some stuff back at the fracture. Oh, well, we'll just keep going, I guess. Nope, no, we're not, because that actually leaves the entire area. Alright, shoot. Can I activate this again? No. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, so will this do something else? No. On it. I got it. Alright, well, let's go back upstairs. Oh, hold on, hold on. That did something. But nothing that I can see. There we go. Can't do that. Aha. Can I not get there? I got it. Interesting. Okay. You see that? I do now. Now this did activate something as yellow. Or else it would have immediately went back to normal. Did it activate though? That's the question. Maybe they, they don't always activate something? Yes. Uh, oh, shoot. Okay. We have a battle, my friends. Let's power you two up. Right. Come Let's out. go! Hey, grave meat. A new dent. This one is under my protection. Rage. Do a buff. I can't hit anything. Oh, you should. Knock ready. I got it. Uh, that was pretty cool. But we had a nice choke point for our frontliners to hold them back, and then we just murdered them. Oh, another torch key. Will do. Mm. Curiosa and Curiosa. Found some. Nothing like finding some cheese in a old chest. I would trust it, that cheese with my life. Hide. 
say that's worth a second glance. I'm assuming this will start a fight. For an iron sword. Simply your champion! Not a serious fight, though. No one ran me hard. Although right now we are That's how it's fucking done. Sorry, I can't. Yes. Okay. I'm guessing this new key will work on this. Puzzles. Can't do that. Ah. Mm. Oh. Got excited there for a moment. That was nothing special. Now can we get this? There we go. Oh. Lucky first guess. Alright, well, we've lowered the door. This. If Can't we... do that. Oh, come on. Alright. Yes. My guess is that if we make it blue, we can activate this. I am a sh Oh! Hi! Deal wall to my How's it going, friends? <laughs> Take this! Tear your skeleton out by your ass! First things first, up party! Die already! Bleed out, again. shit! We got level right now. <laughs> Doing something every day. Two of them. Take that. Ah! Can't do that. All right. What we got? What do we want? Don't have enough for that. Let's raise this up. Raise your defenses. So showing that we have a point. Interesting. All right, what do we got here? Leap to the aid of an ally taunting nearby enemies. Phalanx 2. Maintain a stance that is equal parts offensive and defensive, gaining an armor bonus and dealing pierce damage to enemy melee attackers. Sure. Is that the stance you're in right now? I'm assuming that's the stance they take during battle. I hope they do anyway. And then for us. Hmm. Cooldowns. Okay, so we have a lot in the range tree and the leadership tree, right? Undying. Grant a bonus to finesse, quickness, and resolve. This bonus increases based on their fear. Oh, right, because we can either win them over by fear or loyalty. I think I did loyalty. So that's not really going to work. No, we don't need that. What else do you got with the range? Fire projectiles in a large arc hitting all enemies within a cone. Sounds good. What does this say now? Venture to the old walls and see what you can find. Yeah, that's what it that's what we're doing. So where did that new ability go? Probably under talents. That is a very wide area. Resurgence, plus 39% health and revive. Oh, sh Look at all these other buffs. 
Refuse pain. Removes random hostile effects. Pulse rate. Every three seconds for 12 seconds. That's pretty cool. Um, let's put that into three. We're honestly more of just a party buffer, so... That's the stuff I'm going to put on that bar, because those are things that I'm going to remember, because they're right in my face. More. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry, friends. I have a call to... Oh, it's a single target thing. I'm still here to buff you up. I'll tear your skull out by your ass. On it. <laughs> Squirrel, you're a bastard, aren't you? Right. Honestly, really, I'm just like a, a pocket buffer for her. How did I miss that? Let's be real. Sorry, I can't. Uh, bleed out, you little shit. Beautiful. We also have this. Oh, okay. Quite a few places to explore here. And this is a whole different map? I still have to go to the other map. Oh my goodness. Oh, so we've gone to the abyss. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let's not explore this area yet, because we still have to go to, to the previous one. <sighs> but I guess now we have a teleporter there. I got it. And after this, I think we go back through the other teleporter at the other side of this area. What do we got? None of these have any uh, abilities on them. Like, they're all exquisite, but they're all basically useless to me because I already have. Send them at me in waves! Pay ah! attention, kids! Ah! You might learn something. Ah! 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 On your knees, worm! Will do. We'll have to get through me first. Very nice. Take the Chronicle so Lancer may study it further. Chronicle of the Sages. Well, have a look at this. Lancer's eyes widen with glee as he holds aloft a tome of bound parchments. Festivities of the Tears, subtitle, a survey of social days. I don't know about you, but I'm excited already. Drafting of the field stories, some rather ribald marriage bed antidotes, a study of regional variations in title retreat celebrations, and more tournament reports than one might ever wish to read. It's all very fascinating to an historian like me, but I'm not sure, or I'm sure this is of little interest to you. We can move on. May I take a look? But of course! He hands you the heavy tome and you begin to flip through the pages, your eyes scanning a long page after page of flowing text, most of it in changing inks and handwriting styles. 
The tome Mrs. Lancer described filled to the brim with stories of feasts and fe uh, festivals, including such details as guests in attendance and wines served. Jeez, it sounds like the beginning of Lord of the Rings. Have you ever read Lord of the Rings? I have not. I got almost to the end of Bilbo's party before I... It, it's... Listen, it's... <sighs> Tolkien loved to describe everything and everyone in really long, like, just expanded detail. Uh, so that's what this tome reminds me of. Immediately, I'm like, oh my god, Lord of the Rings. I'm sure it's a fantastic book. I'm sure it is. But god, I could not... I, I've tried three times over, I don't know, 20 years to read that uh, Lord of the Rings, and god, it just pours me to tears every time. I'm sure the book gets so much more interesting after Bilbo's Party, but it's such... Maybe I should just skip Bilbo's Party. Like, I know what happens there. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about me trying to read Lord of the Rings. I just... Anyway, let's continue. Each turn of the page reveals more and more notes on celebrations and festivals, major and minor. Your head swims with the names and dates of countless past fest uh, festivities until at last you arrive at the end to cover. Your eyes heavy from skimming uneven handwriting. Oh, look at us with our lore. I'm weak on my tears and scripts, but this passage says festivals of Narat. Odd, right? Narat. Narat. Wasn't that the leader of the chorus? Narat? Narat? What? Hand me that. Lancer tugs the tome from your grasp and furiously skims the passages in question. Festival of Narat? Since when was... Oh, since 419. Since 419? Well, why is this the first I'm hearing of this tears-wide celebration? He flips through the remaining pages, his eyes rapidly scanning the text with a series of grimaces and grumbles. A festival to Narat ten years before the conquest seems unlikely. What does it say? Let's see. Group melees, feats of strength, a drunken feast. If you ask me, it sounds like Midsummer's as the Apex folks celebrate it, only with chorus details? Things Narat would like? Or the subset of things he'd like that won't permanently scar children. Well, that's weird. Both Graven Ash and Narod have spent decades readying for this war, but if there had been recruiting festivals in the tiers as far back as 419, that's... How is this the first I'm hearing of it? How long have you been spying for Narod? I bet it's been since before 419. You are correct. Agents like me have sent missives to Narod for decades, but this is very public recruitment, not something that would escape notice. This... this isn't accurate. Why would someone... Lancer drops his hand into his palm, letting out a muted, raspy groan. I think the why is obvious. This creates a pretense that Tearsman have been worshipping or loyal to the Archon of Secrets voluntarily before the war. It's propaganda. It's the winner rewriting history. Purpose. The only purpose the Chronicle serves is the retelling of it all. It is a cardinal sin of our craft to modify the telling, regardless of purpose. Who is Lexame? I don't remember who that is. Hmm. Yeah, fix it. I could, and and I will. I just, I'll make a note to return to this. Until I know why this was edited as such, I just assume not tamper further. No doubt there is still more to be found down here. Either way. Hmm. Find the... I got it. Hold on. Health potions. Ah, we are so far beyond health potions. We have transcended health potions. Alright, well, I guess we go all the way back up to here. Well, how did we get in there? Do that. Ah, it would be... Ah, that's fine, that's fine. We, let, let's keep going this way. And then we'll try this keystone as blue. See if we can go further, but for right now, go back to this place, try the new keystones we got, and see if we can't fully explore it. 
So a Chronicle went back and tampered with a text, which apparently is like heresy for their order. Aha! Uh -huh. Intr oh, someone Whoop stitch me up. Dang, that's a heavy trap, but that's okay. We're fine. Just gonna let you heal up. I guess we could disarm it. Hello? A gaunt, bewildered uh, looking woman stands precariously against the edge of the cracked platform. She rubs her bleary eyes impatiently and glances in varied directions with a befuddled expression. Where was I supposed to go? She turns rapidly in your direction. Hello, do you know the way through here? Hmm. <laughs> Push someone over the... Let me show you a shortcut. Um, are you lost? Clearly, I think. I came in from a teleporter nearby, but can't remember the way forward. She points into the yawning chasm at her feet. I feel like I need to head downward. It somehow feels right. I just... Her eyes shut tightly as she, as she's engulfed by a massive yawn. Need to find my way down, and then I'm sure I'll be able to rest. Okay. I mean, clearly we can just be evil for evil's sake. We already pushed somebody off. Uh, we're, we'll leave her be, I guess. Although she is residing in the old walls. <clears throat> it doesn't take much force to send her over the edge. She plummets into the chasm in eerie silence as, and is soon engulfed by its dark expanse. Okay, so this time they made a point to say in eerie silence. So they didn't have a sound effect last time. That wasn't just like an oversight. They'd, that's supposed to be how it is. Huh. Well, now I just almost feel bad. The mirror before you depicts two beastman-like figures rising from the floor, larger than life in stature and presence. They both carry upon their backs massive rectangular tower-like structures. Between the columns are what looks like corridors of the old walls, twisting and turning at right angles. Uh-huh. Okay. Strewn throughout the corridors are dashes of color, blues, whites, and purples, twisting in spirals reminiscent of the Bane. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Though crafted with primitive pigments, the mural is stoned with small details. Further examination will likely glean additional information. The two figures depicted on either side of the structure are drawn in remarkable detail. Their proportions and anatomy seem nearly identical to beastmen. The two have expressive faces. The right-hand beast is anxious and worried. The left-hand beast appears salivating for a fight. Okay. Both forms appear to be bracing against the structure and taken as a pair. Their posture suggests they are holding up or supporting the structure between them. Beastmen literally supporting the old walls on their back? I think we can conclude that even ancient cultures have a sense of the melodramatic. Are they supposed to be holding up spires? What the fuck do beastmen have to do with the spires? Sandstone-colored borders define the edges of the structure supported by the beastmen. The cross-sections remind you of vertical maps drawn of the old walls, a confusing series of connected corridors and passageways rising from floor to ceiling, all of it saturated with cloudy streaks of blue, red, and purple. You can't help but notice the swirling colors of the shapes in the cross-section are also seen painted throughout the two beastmen. Suggesting Bane or the tattoos of such creatures running down their limbs. The color choice and claws mean only mean only one thing? Bane. But I'm guessing you found that conclusion already. The mural is complicated and layered, but has likely received as comprehensive an examination as it's possible. Whomever painted this mural seems to suggest that the beastmen support the old walls, or maybe contain the bane? What do you think it's trying to say? Glare silently. Hmm. 
Let's go with two. I notice the same colors used on the vein are drawn in the old walls and in the beastmen. Maybe that's to show their common magic source. As you pos pause it, pause it. Satisfied with your investigation, you step away from the mural and leave its nuance for the next traveler to ponder. Hmm. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. On it. Jump! Hello, friends! How's it going? Heads up, we have What was that? I'm sorry, we have what? I didn't hear you. Company. Oh, I did not see that coming. I'll tear your skeleton out by your ass. Oh, that one fucking hurt. I got it. Sorry, I can't. Fireball? Fireball? Sorry, I can't. Or not? Oh, Jesus! I figured Lancey would be on top of healing her. Gosh darn it. Where's the revival thing? Still gonna be wounded, though. Also, apparently Lancer already revived her. Now I'm still casting the banner. Oh, well. Oh, shoot. Now I gotta deal with wounds. Eh, you'll be fine for now. Sorry, I can't. Uh-huh. And then we have you. Well, let's continue exploring this way. One wound isn't terrible. They can stack. Actually, hold on. Let me... Oh, you couldn't even wear that anyway, right? Because of your armor that you have? <laughs> Interesting. Well, you know, you might as well camp then. We have one here, we have one elsewhere. There we go. Now we're taught back off on camping supplies. And there's another one. Send them at me in the way! Dent! Another scar? Fine! Go. 
Can't go down the line. AOB damage. Sorry, I can't. And they're done for. Nice. And we are at the end of this area. Ah, uh, not necessarily. Oh, that was right. I was looking for the stairs to move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, no, let's just keep going. Look at that. You jerk. That is a big spear. Go for the throat. That's rude. Don't go for the throat. Piece of crap. Die already! This one is under my protection. That one hurt me hard. Quick in. Then we go with the raid. She's gonna go nuts. Feels like my bowels are on fire. Try and stop and weaken. Undying banner. Take that. A new dent. Sorry. Come on, fireball. I can't with fireball. Sorry, I can't. Um, drink a potion. Will do. I don't want you getting more wounds. Don't do that. Jeez, she's getting massacred. Let's give them something to remember. Better not wake up to. Ah, uh, nuts. Dead. Don't know my own strength. That's fine. I think I mentioned would do the revival. Oh well. Two fights that she's gone down to. Huh. Okay, uh, well. We might as well rest and then just grab the supplies here, I suppose. Bronze horn. And the other ones didn't do anything? So which one activates? Oh, this. Maybe. Oh, hold on. Found another one. This should be enlightening. Landry smiles victoriously as he has a weighty parchment tome. Ledgers. Oh, so many ledgers. Did you know that uh, there was a threefold increase in mead expenditures at the Citadel 424? Oh boy. Let's see here. Syllabus, syllabi, plural. I suppose lesson plans are part of the historical record, my painful memories aside. Oh look! Multiplication tables, the triangle proof. All three, four of them? And what is Kairos' harem doing in the lesson? Wait, what? 
Kairos is harem, not... The harem is a condescending term for the thousands of people that become infatuated by the Overlord and offer their lives to the Archon strictly out of blind adoration and loyalty. Such recruits are said to be plucked from the harem. Oh my god. This game has been a harem anime the entire time. Oh no. Uh, Lanch's brow furrows as he sifts deeper into the text. I guess we should talk here. We have a high lore. Oh, I know that one. Imperial Champion Day 1, three top consorts the next day, then the nine conquered heirs, then three knights of nine concubines each... N nine? Concubines each night? Then nine knights of nine slaves each night. What? Um, yes, quite right. Assuming each clutch of mates increases by three, you have it right. This isn't how I recall it. I learned about the harem from a text I purchased back in 380-something. It was never part of our instruction at the school. I mean, most of us knew of the harem and would tell variations of it at parties, but it was never a... Pedagogical? 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 Pedagogical. I don't know that word. Um, tool. You seem oddly upset about a jumble of old lesson plans. I am? I am. I know it's pedantic, but it's just not right. I get that we should preserve knowledge and any mathematic proof is worth of uh, worthy of archiving. It's just, there's something. While it's true we were connoisseurs of any treaties, never in all my years did I use many of these exercises in my actual lesson plans. I'm probably the biggest Cairo aficionado in all of the Vellum Citadel, and I can say with certainty that these elements of Kairosian math were not standard teaching. I see how minor this detail must seem, but it's a lie all the same. You could correct it? I'm starting to think that maybe for the best given what we've been s Wait, I'm starting to think that's maybe for the best given what we've been seeing. But not here. Maybe when we're back at the spire. So what the heck is going on with... Oh, I see. Even if we got this up, this would just go back to where we came from. Because we've already been there. There's a room back in there. Must be a teleporter to get there. Maybe this teleporter? Did we already go in that teleporter? We've gone in so many teleporters, I can't even remember which ones we haven't gone into. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. God, which ones do I have to activate? I guess we'll start there, because that's still a white color, meaning we don't have a key for it yet. I... Hold on, before we end, I did go through this, right? Or did I not? Maybe I'm thinking of the previous teleporter that sends us to the abyss. Uh, oh, this does go to the Abyss, just a different part of it. Okay. Alright, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. We will continue exploring next time. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care.